Hey everyone, welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica, thanks for joining me. Today I'm participating in the What Month Is It collab, hosted by my friends, Tammy of Happiness Created, co-hosted by Sun of Sun's Arts, Mary Beth of MB Grade Designs, and special co-host, Lisa Marie of Crafting My Best Life with Lisa Marie. The focus of this collab is for the design to reflect the current month. The full moon in May is known as the flower moon. So since today is not only the flower moon, but also a super moon and a lunar eclipse, I'm making two moon themed projects. DIY number one is this cutie. Let's get into it. I cut a wee bit of the bottom of a three inch styrofoam ball to flatten it. I just used the serrated knife and took a wee bit off. I'll cover it with some Model Magic clay. I just rolled some out nice and flat. Then I'll wrap the ball with it, pressing it into the foam, adding more clay until the entire surface is covered. I roll it on the table to smooth it a bit. I roll a small ball of clay and I'll cut it in half. These will be my moon's cheeks. I'll push them into place where I want them. The model magic sticks to itself really well, so it doesn't need much manipulation like air dry clay. I roll three more small balls to form her nose. One for the center and two smaller for the nostrils. And I place the larger one centered between the cheeks. Then I'll add the two smaller ones on either side. One more time. I'll roll another small ball for the lips. I flatten it with my finger and then I'll add a dent in the top to define the lips using my stylus. A toothpick would work too. I pinch the sides to give them an upturned curl to make a smile. I use the stylus to make the line between the top and bottom lips and then I just pop them just below the nose. I use a paintbrush handle to add dimples on the bottom of her cheeks. I use two different sized dowels to make crater impressions by gently pushing them into the clay. But I leave the area around the features smooth. I'll set her aside for two days to dry. DIY number two will be this quick, easy moon painting. I have one of these Dollar Tree canvases and I'll use a ruler to draw a border and mark one inch sections all the way around. This will be a checked border. I'll trace three quarters of the way around this ribbon spool. I move the spool up a bit and connect the opening to make a crescent. This is gonna be a quick and easy painting anyone can do, you'll see. I want this to have a watercolor appearance, so I'll use my folk art glaze to give my paints a translucent look. I work the medium into my brush, and then I'll pull some of my drizzle gray onto the bristles. I outline around the moon with the drizzle, picking up more paint and medium as needed. The glaze has a longer drying time, so it lasts me to shade as I go. I'm just feathering out that color a little bit 
again adding more glaze and or paint as needed. After each layer of glaze, I'll hit it with my heat gun. I add some Americana Sun Bleached to the center of the moon. Since I want this to have a watercolor appearance, I'm not really worrying if everything is totally covered. I come back in with the drizzle to make the craters. Some are circles, some half circles. I'm using a dotter to make the circles and just using my brush to make those semi-circles. Here I'm adding a bit more shading. With a liner brush prepped with glaze and Ceramco parsley, I'll do quick strokes to make little leaves and then I'll do a squiggle line all the way around that curve of the moon. I'll pop in some quick GP purple circles. Again, I've loaded the brush with glaze. Quick and easy, right? With my liner, I'll make a spiral in the center with passion to simulate a rose. I add some buds too, just short strokes like the leaves with passion, then in Tropic Bay, and then some kissed coral. And then I'll do more leaves with Irish moss. All done basically the same way. So if you can make little strokey lines, you can definitely make these blossoms. I'll fill in the sky with glaze and ceram coat waterfall. I start at the edge with loose strokes, then I'll cross hatch strokes to fill in the center. Front row, there's a flaw in the canvas, but we're just going to go with it and I'll sort that out later. I'll shade around the moon a wee bit darker just by having more paint than glaze on my brush. I add some Tropic Bay Blue to the sky as well, just to add a little dimension. Using my liner and white paint, I'll make some sparkly stars. Just a straight line with an X in it, and then a line through the center of the X. And I'll also dip dot some white stars too. This is all random, just anywhere I think it needs a star. I use the tip of my stylus and waterfall to make some draping beads hanging from the bottom of the moon. Just dots and dashes and some diamond shapes at the end of the beads. And again, you could use a toothpick to do this. I felt the moon need a little more shading, so just adding a bit more with waterfall. I paint every other check rain gray, and the others in between will be sun bleached. Now, that's a bit darker than I want, so I'll remove some with a clean brush. With the sun bleached, I'm kind of more just going down the center of that square and leaving the edges more or less white. Using my liner, I outline the border with rain gray. And I outline all the checks too. To cover the flaw, I've printed Merry Month of May on cardstock. I've ripped them out instead of cutting them to give them that ragged edge and I'll distress them with rain gray. I'm just going right around the edge to enhance that ripped 
torn border. I'll mod podge them strategically to cover that flaw. I'm only using mod podge on the back of them, not on the front. Rolling with my brayer to make sure there's good adhesion. And as always, I'll spray them with clear matte sealer. And there you go. Isn't it cute? Quick and easy. Anybody can do it. Back to Sister Moon. She's dry and ready for paint. I'll give her two solid coats of white acrylic paint. Using my liner brush and rain gray, I paint her eyes. She'll have a cheeky wee wink with her right eye and her left eye will be open. With Adele, I dipped out her eye, first with Waterfall, then Rain for the pupil, and a white highlight. I dry brush her cheeks, lips, and nose with blush pink. Rain gray eyebrows, and the line between her lips. I'll wash her with glaze and Tropic Bay Blue. I'll brush it on and wipe it back with paper towel. I make sure to get in the crevices of her features. I want the blue to kind of pool there. I'll dip out the craters first with rain gray, then I'll come back with a smaller Tropic Bay dot. I'll seal her with a coat of Mod Podge. Since she is the flower moon, I make her a flower circlet from a floral stem and some paper blossoms. I twisted the stem around itself to make the circle. I'll wrap the flower wire around the circle to hold it in place. I also add a dab of hot glue to the back and I'll cover the entire circle in blossoms. Ta-da! How sweet! I love how these turned out. I love the moon, so these were a labor of love. I hope you like them too, and maybe give them a go. I want to thank Tammy, Sun, Mary Beth, and Lisa Marie for hosting. All of their channels, as well as the playlist and my supply list, are in the description box. Please like, share, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff stay creative my friends thanks for hanging with me see you next time up all night with monica